Now again, you buy something like that, even in a cheap supermarket like Aldi, it's gonna be like 179 to two quid, right that these days. Do you want me to grab one of these boxes, and these? Yeah. All right. All right. Ugh. 16 quid for a box, and I'm gonna show you what to do with it. Oh. So what are we gonna do with that ginger? Well, every morning I have a ginger shot. And yeah, ginger shot is, uh, if you, if you wanna know what that is, go, go look at Jason Vale, one of, my, uh, one of my dear friends, and uh, also known as the Juice Master, and he is. And it's funny, because I was with um, uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza on Saturday at a big workshop that he was doing in London. And I was in the audience, and it was at the Logan Hall in Russell Square. And it was you know, quite, uh, quite a, a throwback, a uh, little nostalgic, because the last time I was in that building, I was, I was on stage, it was the London Yes Group, there was a thousand people there, and I gave a talk, and there was only two speakers for the night, there was myself and Jason Vale, and it was probably about 15, 16 years ago. And it was kind of what launched Jason's speaking career, and certainly way at the beginning of mine. It was also the first time my dad had ever seen me speak. He's in the audience. In fact, the last minute of that talk's on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, it's, uh, I've got a standing ovation from a thousand people. Mm. And uh, I was very proud because same as my dad was there. Yeah, bless him. But uh, that was at the Logan Hall. And it was, it was funny because as soon as I went in, I thought, oh, I remember, you know, last time I, stood, I was here, because Joe, obviously Joe Dispenza was on stage. But, you know, last time I was here, I thought I was, I was on stage with Jason Vale. And to see what Jason's done and how he, I mean, he's sold, what, three million books now. Yeah, he's, he's just become such a, an expert, so passionate about juicing. And you see that a lot because if you have a, yeah, uh, something that affects you personally, you come from an authentic place of almost being evangelical about it. But you know, there's no hidden agenda other than the fact you want to share the good news. And that's what I love about Jason. You know, he, his, he had some health issues and juicing essentially saved his life. It ch ch changed his life. It transformed everything. And now he is the juice master and shall be known as. And he's got a beautiful retreat in Portugal. If you've not been, yeah, Theo and I were lucky enough to be his guests there you know, a little while back. And he sold out for like months in advance. He's got a fantastic documentary on YouTube, which is free. Yeah, if you've not seen it, then you're just not educating yourself. And that's called Super Juice Me. And he essentially took a, uh, uh, eight people, all who had different health conditions, and between them were on something like 60 different medications, pharmaceutical, yeah, toxic yeah, um, medications. And within 28 days, he was seeing if he could transform them just through juice. And I won't give away what happened because there's some amazing twists in the tail and everything else and came out of that, but go to YouTube, watch Super Juice Me, and... Uh, and I challenge you not to want to run to the market and buy a load of stuff like I just did. But the ginger shot, and uh, Jason, he's a funny guy. I mean, you could, you could listen to him all day. He's got that sense of humor, that passion, that, that sort of combines. But like Dr. Joe, Dr. Joe now is, is in his prime. He's, he's, I've been studying Joe Dispenza since, you know, what the bleep. And, you know, to see him in his prime now, you know, selling out events you know, around the world and, you know, really the, the groundbreaking stuff he's doing. Oh, I'll get this way. The groundbreaking stuff he's doing in the quantum field with neuroscience, uh, it's you know, it's fantastic. But uh, he's got he's got a, a real sense of humour around him now as well, you know, uh, when he speaks, and that's great. You know, people like to see that. But Jason Vale, go watch the Ginger Shot video that Jason Vale does, and you'll see. But that's what I have every morning. Okay, we call it the Healthy Espresso, and yeah, it's a a great way of being able to start your day, but. Having that much ginger, I mean, apart from that, if I was to drink that much ginger, I would probably spontaneously combust. Yeah, and I like my ginger shots hot, don't get me wrong. I mean, this is Leicester. Yeah, you know, I grew up, yeah, you know, I, was, I was breastfed on, yeah, you know, Vindaloo and Chicken Rogan Josh, <laughs> Alu Gobi, and uh, just about everything else. So I'm, I'm a spice guy. You know, I'll throw a, you know, a bit of cayenne pepper in my juice. I'll throw, you know, some chilies in my, my, my ginger shot. I'm all about that. But a normal ginger shot for people that aren't quite as heat tolerant um, is good. But the reason I bought a box is because I'm going to freeze it. I'm not going to freeze the ginger. 
I'm actually going to juice the ginger and then freeze it into ice cubes. Mm -hmm. And we will see what happens to that later on. What do we have here? This is the morning ginger shot that I take without uh, fail every single morning. It's super quick and easy, super beneficial, and as taught to me by the incredible Mr. Jason Vale. If you've not seen Jason's video on the ginger shot, go check it out, it's hilarious, he's an amazing guy. And uh, so yeah, what do we have here? Well, a question I get asked a lot as well is, what kind of juicer do you use? Well, the truth is, I use a lot of different types of juicers, but I wanna give you some tips and hints here because this particular juicer is the one I use the most. This is a centrifugal-based juicer. Uh, it's actually made by Sage, not just because I like the name, but it's actually a very good make by Heston Blumenthal and uh, Titanium Blades, great. It'll stand you instead for a good stead for uh, 10 years at least. But um, a centrifugal juicer tends to uh, have a, uh, be a lot faster and a lot easier to use and also creates a little more heat friction. So the juice isn't as a good a quality, some people say, as some of the slow or masticating juices. And I'm gonna come on to that a little bit more, but for right now, being able to just use the, uh, this juicer, there's a reason for it. And that is if, you, if you're not super passionate about juicing, if it's just something you wanna get into, then the only two things you wanna look for in a juicer, and I'll say flat out right now, is is it easy to use, is it easy to clean? Everything else is noise. Everything else is bells and whistles, marketing features, benefits, and fluff. Is it easy to use, easy to clean? Because if it isn't, I've got news for you, right? You say, oh, I'll go for the you know, super slow, you know, chop it into tiny pieces, prep all my juice up. That's going to last for about a week and a half before you go to do your juice and think, oh, I'm going to spend 10 minutes preparing it and then drinking it. And you're going to go and do something daft like, you know, have a bowl of porridge instead. So uh, I use this because it's easy to use, it's easy to clean, and it's not going to end up in a cupboard for the next, you know, rest of my life after th you know, two weeks of running out of enthusiasm on juicing. So uh, how do we do it? Very simple, I've got an apple. I'm a big guy, so I tend to take a full apple and a decent chunk of ginger. If you're gonna be getting to juicing, invest in a decent knife, right? Here we have probably about this much, which is just somewhat short of blowing my head off. Um, I like hot, you know, I live in Leicester. I grew up being breastfed on Vindaloo. So yeah, for me, I'm a, I'm a hot guy. Uh, some people put chili in their ginger shots as well. If you wanna do that, knock yourself out. Um, uh, or turmeric is a good shot. I think um, Pret, uh, Pret these days are selling uh, orange and uh, chili or orange and turmeric and orange and cayenne shots as well. So you know, get creative. But the standard ginger shot, good for everything in the morning that your body can possibly want. Antibacterial, antifungal, anti-inflammatory, anti pretty much everything. Uh, in fact, take this and you know, start flying anti-gravity, superhero stuff, amazing. So how do I do it? I put the ginger in first. Right? I put the apple on top because it tends to flush it through. Whack it on high. Right? And that is the extent of the work that you need to do. Done. All right, no brewing coffee, waiting for four minutes, no all of that kind of stuff. No, that's it, ginger shot complete. And um, the only downside to this, if anyone from Sage is watching and are gonna do an upgrade, there's no drip stop. Guys, come on, figure it out, you know. Uh, so I'm gonna put that in there to catch any little drips that are gonna be falling in there. Uh, yeah, there you go, there's one, would've gone all over the table. Whack that through, swap that back, hopefully no drips. And there we have a gorgeous, lovely, live, beautifully energized ginger shot, what uh, Jason calls the healthy espresso. Great way to start the day. And uh, here we go. Woof! <laughs> yes, uh, just, just a little more than short of blowing your head off, but wow. Okay, that was great. Um, livens you up, better than a cold shower, although still have a cold shower. And uh, I can't recommend that highly enough. You start your day with that, you are setting yourself up to win in terms of nutrition, health, enzymes, everything that your body needs. It is a great way to start the day instead of reaching for the instant decaf, reaching for the milk, reaching for all the stuff that you know, you're being manipulated by in, through advertising and hidden agendas to make you believe things that you really shouldn't believe. Trust me, scientists in the dairy industry don't drink milk. Anyway, that aside, ginger shot for the day. However, how I'm gonna finish is, I'm gonna share with you a way, if you don't wanna get up in the morning and even prepare your juicer, a way that you can still take your ginger shot before you even get out of bed in a way that is almost as good. Are you ready for this? So the observant of you will notice that we have something different on the table. These are silicon ice tray molds that I get off Amazon. They're slightly bigger than the normal ones, like a two inch by two inch, I like them. 
because what I do with these is that I juice a load of ginger shots in one go, pour them into the molds, freeze them, and then, yeah, this is for people that don't want to you know, get up and juice every morning for their ginger shot. What I do is I take one of these, once they're froze, and I pop them into a shot glass. Let me grab one for you. Mm -hmm, here's one I made earlier. Pop them into one of these, right, leave it at the side of the bed. Overnight, the ice, uh, ginger ice shot melts. You wake up, you reach off, bang, boom, your body's up, it's alive, it's awake, you are good to go without any of the um, juicing, any of the washing, everything else. Why, not? Why wouldn't you just invest a little bit of time, yeah, 10 minutes to fill up all of these, put them in the freezer. I've got enough here for a month's worth of ginger shots. Yeah, it's just a little tip. Uh, in fact, yeah, let me, yeah, let me show you what I do. So what we need is probably a lot more ginger. Funny you should say that. Here's some I made earlier. Okay, so you probably don't need this much. Uh, and all of this has been washed in apple cider vinegar, but I'm going to grab a load out of here. All right, let's just take, um, oh, let's take this amount. Oh, look at this. I'm getting excited already. We're going to need some apples. Again, all been washed before. And depending on the strength that you want your ginger shots, right? depending on how much. You saw earlier, I tend to do a little bit of a one-on-one, -on -one, to be fair, uh, one-to-one. -one. So, yeah, let's whack it through. Let's see what we got, because that's the benefit of something like a centrifugal juicer. It's fast. Yeah, it's quick, it's efficient. All right, and let's get started. So I'm gonna whack some apples in. All right. So all in all, that was about 30 seconds worth of juicing. And um, you'll see we've got more than enough to fill one of these ice trays or two. I'm gonna put this underneath the drip stop. Again, any design engineers at Sage that are listening, please put a drip stop on on the next model. And very simple, here we go, let's just pour this in. Oh, look at this, golden nectar. Oh, wow, I'm getting excited already. Look at that, I always make, make a mess when I'm excited. Let's put some more of that down there. Now that will go in the freezer, in about two hours I'll have frozen ginger shots, pop one of those into the glass, side of the bed, get up in the morning, it's easy, why wouldn't you? Okay, that's my tip for today. How to make a month's worth of frozen ginger shots in about five minutes or less.